do you think when you argue with each other, when she's like, but you never do this, 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 but then he's like, yo, but you never do this, 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 is that a place to live or cry for help? And you know what that pressure is? Not because when are you going to put a ring on it? It's more about, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Have you ever caught him looking at other women? Of course. Yeah? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Really quick, first of all, what's your name? Jean. Jean. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Karina. Karina? Okay, we have another uh, mic for you. So you guys can literally hold this and you guys can respond into that mic. Okay, so Jean and? Karina. Karina. Karina, wonderful names. Okay, Jean, really quick. I'm asking you about your beard because yeah. it's very nice. Mashallah, you could get that in the camera. You got the, the little beard, curls. The beard. I like got one too. Get the I got too. the two. He got, he got the sunnah beard, but it's cool. He doesn't know it yet. Okay, no problem. Okay. So let me ask you, why haven't you shaved it if she doesn't like it? That's a good question. Because I like it. You <laughs> like it. Beard, yeah. It's your beard. How long you say you've been growing it for? Put, put, it, put it up here. Put it up here. Years. Yeah, I've been years? growing it for years. For yeah. years? How long have you guys been together for? Two and a half. So you the same length of his beard? Yeah, yeah, Ben. Well, I shaved it. I like trimmed it once, okay. like real, real low. Okay. And then I let it grow again. Okay. So that's what I really, really do. I like okay. trim it down yeah. and then let it grow again. Can, so. can, I, can I give you a suggestion? Because the YouTube channel that I run, uh, it's based on men's grooming. It's all that sort of Let me give you a suggestion, by the way. It'll make your beard look better, right? One thing is this. What's your YouTube? So way of Life SQ. It's Wave? a pretty Way of Life SQ. It's Wave a pretty big life. YouTube channel, okay? okay. Um, when you do the beard, mm -hmm. do not get the blade done on it. I know it looks crispy, but two things happen one you could get irritated skin two it makes it look fake it doesn't have a see mine it looks naturally in right what i do is i wax the top instead oh, wax it right so you know how like, i don't want to get too close to you but you see how like yours comes all the way up to here what you would do is you would keep it up there because that's a good look right a little high it's not too bad and anything up top you just wax that off wax wax that oh, off okay, okay now you guys have been together for two 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 and a half, two and half and years half. Yeah. so let me ask you a question when does he plan on popping the question <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Yeah? Do you plan? Let me ask you this. Is this like something serious? Make sure that, you know, yeah, get yeah. the facial expression. Yeah, like, is this something Is this something like serious between you two? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. So you smile, you lit up when you ask the question. <laughs> she fell, but he's laughing too, which is a good sign. You know, and you know what? Honestly, you guys make a very nice couple. Thank I'm you. married myself. I've been married for about eight years now. It's a great experience, you know? And I'll tell you this. The quicker you guys marry, the more fun you'll have. And let me tell you why. Let's suppose you guys are together for two and a half years, as you mentioned. Let's suppose three. Let's suppose you guys get married in two more years from now. You guys have been together for five years, but you've been married for only one, okay? So what happens is this. Let's suppose you guys get in arguments, and everyone does. Everyone gets in arguments, but you're more likely to break up. Here's why, get a divorce, here's why. Because when you think of marriage years, you think of only one year one instead year. of five years. Imagine you've been married for five years, thinking like, yo, I can't just throw this away. By then, maybe you even have a child together. Maybe you're not, you, you guys love each other so much that you bring someone into this world with God's help, you know? So by then, you have more at stake, more leverage to make it work because relationships have to be made to work. They don't just work. They gotta be made to work. Compromises have to be made. Sacrifices have to be made because the mission is to unite two people to together. Yep. So let me ask. I'm putting you on the spotlight. Okay. Come on, I got the mic. All right, you got the mic. Got mic. When do you when do you plan on? <laughs> when Yo, does he plan? Yeah. Literally, Go ahead. literally, we were Go ahead. just talking about this. We okay. were having dinner. Okay. At, what's that place called? Havana. Havana. I don't know. Some place down. Oh, there. down there, down there, the Havana place. Yeah, I that, seen it. I yeah, seen yeah. it. I seen it. Get your, get your mouth. I don't yeah, want you to drop it. Yeah. That's where I was. That's okay. where we was at. And then we was talking about it. Oh, when you gonna? Put Who brought it up? This? She brought she it up. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? I mean, I'm eventually planning to. Of course, of course, I believe you. Know, you. With time, time to tell. Yeah. Yeah. But why do you want? But why should there be? If you know that he's gonna marry, why pressure? That's a good why question. pressure him? Wait. By the way, but to go see ahead. if it's real, that's you why. To see if you, it's you know real. what? You're right. He should. You know. You know. Here's the problem, right? And I've been on that case myself. I, I at once upon a time. Now I'm a Muslim. I wasn't before. I used to just play around with girls. I don't do that anymore. I'm a happily married man now. Two daughters. It's a beautiful thing, right? But eight years ago, you would have met some other dude, right? I'm here to let you know right now that she has every right to be worried. You know why? A lot of dudes test drive before they buy. And right now, if there isn't a if there isn't a ring on it, you're test driving. You haven't bought. <laughs> you understand? Not that she's a property. Not that I'm a Jeff. Uh, sure. Do you understand it what makes, I mean, sister? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're test driving, and you can return anytime you want to. Now, guess what? The damage has been done. Let's suppose you with a person two two and a half years. You decided to quit it. 
Like that type of mileage doesn't show on you, but emotionally it affects her more than you. Because guess what? She let her guards down. She had walls. She had all these pressures, but she brought them down because of you. Why? Because you were a real one. Now guess what happens? You guys split up. Guess what happens to those walls? Not only do they go back up, they get higher. higher. Yeah? yeah. So now you don't mess it up for the next dude. You understand? Mm -hmm. It becomes a cycle. And guess what? Let's suppose, God forbid, I don't think she's like this, but let's suppose she broke your heart. Same thing happens to you. Why should my wife, do you think my wife should be worried that I, like, her husband goes out and talks to women? That, don't you think a wife should be like, he's safe? You know what I mean? She should feel secure. She should know that her husband doesn't even talk to other chicks. Right? Yeah. Wouldn't you like that? Yes, I would. Yeah? To not talk to other girls? No. Think it's just, At all? Just, just a to a certain extent. Do you think that you should know whoever he's talking to? To a certain extent. What does that mean? Um. Do you trust him? <laughs> yeah, I trust him. You trust him, yeah. right? So, but I mean, I'll be honest with you. He's a good looking dude. He's a good looking dude. Nice beard, wavy beard. There's probably a lot of girls who want him. I'm not gonna, and the same with you. I'm pretty sure a lot, of, I understand, right? I like this. But let's just be honest over it, here. You like it this? Turn it, it turned into my beard to advice. Ah, like there we go. Right. Okay, listen, listen, listen. listen. Here's, the, here's the truth though, right? If there is infidelity, just letting you know, statistically, I'm not making this statistically, more than likely it's him to be infidelity towards you, right? Because it's easier, right? It's less emotion involved. And it's just like, it could be a mistake, you know what I mean? The problem is this, as men, we come to our senses. You mm -hmm. understand? Yep. Everything seems great, but then we come to our senses. Once the deed is done, there's no emotional intimacy. We're like, oh, I gotta get out of here. This was a huge mistake, right? God forbid. So I'm advising him, and the same way you should keep putting pressure, but a healthy pressure. And you know what that pressure is? Not because when you're gonna put a ring on it. It's more about, I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. Yep. That's it, right? You love this man so much and you love this woman so much that you never, you don't wanna be without her. You see, if there's a heaven, if there's a paradise. I say that all the time. You get what I mean? Yeah. If there's a heaven or if there's a paradise, she deserves to be your wife over there too. You get what I mean, bro. I get it, yep. She deserves, and she and you deserve to be her husband over there too. I do want you to know that in heaven, he will be allowed to be with other women. I want you to know that. He needs to know this. He can be with other women, but don't worry, he'll only love you more. Don't worry. But in heaven, he can have. You're all, you know why? Let me tell you why as well, right? And as for us well, wait, as Muslims, so you're yeah, telling me that, right? If yes. I can have other women, can she have other men? No. Okay. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why, right? The nature of man is different from the nature of woman. You see, for us, believe me, and you probably caught him, be honest. Have you ever caught him looking at other women? Of course. Yeah? Oh, He's lying. Out you He's got lying. out it. So how is it? Is it like you guys are walking, it's he very sneaks subtle. a peek? It's very subtle. subtle. We both look. <laughs> okay. Sneaks a peek. Okay. What if, from this point on, he tried his best to lower his gaze so he doesn't look at any other woman? How would you feel? Would that show loyalty? Um, nah, I would think it's fake. You would think it's fake. Do you think that if you only had eyes for her and no other woman, do you feel that you will always find her the most attractive because you're not looking at anyone else? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. So yeah, think about this. I, yeah, I always find her attractive. I sure. find her attractive over any other woman. Good. There's no one can replace sure. her. That's sure. for sure. Good, beautiful. I mean, like how she said, she might catch me taking a peek, yeah. Or whatever, but yeah, that doesn't mean I'm looking. Yeah. and I want her. Good. This is the girl that I want. Sure. I want to marry. And That's good. Have kids and all. Beautiful. That. Listen to what he's saying to you right now, right? That shows up. And I want you to remember this thing. The next time y'all get in a fight, remember what he just said. Before you think about, you know why? The devil wants to break good relationships up. You know why? Yeah. It's it's the a good relationship is the cornerstone of a healthy society. Yep. I'm a school teacher. I'm a YouTuber, but I'm a school teacher by profession. I teach mathematics to sixth grade middle school students. That's literally my job, right? So if I talk to people, I do this for a living, okay? I'm here to let y'all know right now that the devil's job is, if, if a person, I deal with single parents, kids, no father in life, only their mom single, because I teach in the, in the hood. You know, I teach in an environment that's a challenged environment. Naturally, mm -hmm. one of the biggest challenges is single parents. When people break up, they don't realize how much it affects the parents. A good cornerstone to society are two people who love each other and they raise a child together. Do you understand? Yep, yep. So the next time, you know, y'all get in a little petty argument, remember, <laughs> this is the person you want to wake <laughs> up next That's to. That's what we say, a petty argument. Petty. It's all it's petty. Really Isn't petty. it petty? Yeah. Isn't it always petty? Yeah. Like you, And when y'all even ask, 
What were y'all arguing about? Y'all don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Is that not or the devil? I, yeah. Is that not the devil, right? He makes y'all forget and find out both of y'all wrong, none of y'all right, or sometimes both of y'all right from your own perspectives. So remember something. There's, I'm going to leave you with one advice and I'm out of here. All right? This has been one all for more. a while. One more advice, okay? I like it. I like it. Wait, wait, wait. I got two, to there we go. There we go. Respect. 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 Right. When two people communicate, it could be you two, it could be me and you, it could be me and anyone over here. When two people communicate, there's only two forms of communication. Get ready for this. The first is, in any dialogue, it's either a cry for help or it's coming from a place of love. Let me ask you, do you think I'm coming from a place of love or cry for help? Place, place of, love. of love, right? Do you think when you argue with each other, when she's like, but you never do this, 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 but then he's like, yo, but you never do this, 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 is that a place of love or cry for help? Hey, yeah. isn't that, you see the difference is this, right? When you guys have arguments or any type of conversation with anyone else, it's either a place of love or cry for help. If she's coming to you saying, but you forgot this, but you didn't do this, is she coming from a cry for help or a place of love? Place if she's love. complaining about herself, right? It's a, love, it's a cry for help, cry for but you have to make it a place of love. Because if she's just like, oh, you don't ever do this, but then you're like, hang on. I do this for you, and I do this for you. Then you have two people crying for help. Does anyone ever find help? If two people are crying for help, no. anyone? No. So one person has to be smart. And you know what, babe? Don't Change say, hey, you're crying for help. Change, no, change don't say that. that. To the, to you come, okay, so yep. she's saying to me, but you don't do this every single time. You're late, you're this and this. Okay, babe, I love you. I'm sorry. How can I fix this? You got to come from a place of love or vice versa. If he's coming from a cry from identify it, then say, no, babe, how can we fix this? How we can move on? And then later on, when you both on the level, say, hey, babe, remember like seven and a half hours ago when we did that? That really upset me, you know? And let's talk about this. Assume the best in me. Never think that I have you because you know who I am, right? That's literally it, guys. Listen, have a beautiful remainder of your night. And honestly, I hope, I hope I'm invited to your wedding. I got to come. Yeah? <laughs> Yes, please take it down. Please take it down. Please take it down. And if y'all need everything, because I, I do marriage counseling as well too, right? If y'all need any type of relationship counseling, I'm here absolutely for free. There's no charge. I want nothing from you guys, right? But your happiness. But your happiness, okay? Way. Okay, way of life SQ. That's me. Give me a subscribe, my brother. Take care, sister. Take care. Remember, God bless you guys. Take care. Yeah. Get on your knees just like this and put your head to the ground like this. Go ahead, come on, like this, like this, like this. Put your head to the ground like this. Exactly, right this, put your head to the ground, that's it. And thank Allah for what you have. Thank Allah for what you have, bro, thank Allah. Thank Allah for what you have. Thank Allah for what you have.